Well, turning the page on decades of Hoosier history, the Bloomington Herald Times is auctioning off hundreds of old newspapers. This is extremely interesting. News 8's Adam Pinsker tells us downsizing forced the paper to move into a smaller building, leaving little room to store archives. Well, this is one of about 950 bound editions of the Bloomington Herald Times dating back about, oh, 65 years from 1950 until 2013. They're being housed here at an old warehouse that Cook owns on the west side of town. And now you can own a piece of history. These massive books document Indiana's role in major historical events through the 20th and early 21st centuries, from the blizzard of 78 to astronaut Gus Grissom's Project Mercury flight in 1961. Indiana had a lot of ties to NASA, both through astronauts that had gone to Purdue and Gus Grissom, who was from Mitchell, Indiana. Janice Rickert was an editor at the Bloomington Herald Times for 42 years. Now she's helping to catalog these historic pages to be auctioned off because there is no room to store them. Proceeds will stay in the community. We've created a, uh, a fund under the Community Foundation of Bloomington Monroe County, and it's a local news fund and it's meant to support local reporting in our community. The Herald Times archives actually date back to 1920, but only a handful of newspapers from before 1950 remain because they were thrown out. Also missing were newspapers covering all five of Indiana basketball's national championships, but there are plenty of other articles available chronicling local and national events, including the September 11th terrorist attacks. The limestone at the Pentagon had been mined here, and replacement uh, pieces were made here and sent out so over the next several months. Even though many of these world events have an Indiana connection, it's the local stories that intrigue Rickert. I found a story about somebody from Bloomington that had taken a uh, vacation in California in the early 1950s and came back and had Adam sickness. A T O M. For Rickert, who's seen the newspaper's staff and reach shrink over the decades, this liquidation sale is difficult for her to deal with. There's some personal sentiment here. I mean, is this? Don't get me started. The auction begins August 25th. It is online only, and we have details on how to sign up on our website, wishtv.com. Adam Pinsker, wishtv, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.